congratulations on purchasing your brand new Russell Hobbs Slimline Dishwasher. I'm here to help you get started. Before we begin, I recommend that you check there are no obvious signs of damage and that none of the dishwasher parts are missing. What you should have is a drainage pipe, an inlet hose and an instruction manual. If you have any inquiries, contact Product Care on 0845 208 8750. To install your machine, you will need to connect the water inlet hose provided to the back of your machine and your cold water tap. It's really important that you use your cold water tap as the machine will heat the water when in use. Also ensure that you use the water inlet hose provided and not a previous one. Turn clockwise until it is attached tightly to each end. When it's connected to both machine and water tap, turn your tap valve to the open position. Now you need to place the drainage hose into the wastage pipe or an alternative wastage outlet. If you are struggling, consult your user guide. Before you use your dishwasher for the first time, you will need to run a full cycle with the machine empty. Once you have done this and you want to use your dishwasher, you will need to add softener salt specifically for dishwashers. To do this, pull out the lower basket and remove the compartment cap located on the left hand side at the bottom of the dishwasher by turning it anti-clockwise. The first time you fill the salt compartment, mix one kilogram of salt with water. For refilling, only insert salt without using water. Once this is filled, replace the cap by turning clockwise. This dishwasher is suitable for 2-in-1 and 3-in-1 detergents only and must be used on a setting of 65 degrees or more in order for them to work effectively. When using such detergents, always place them inside the detergent compartment and not directly into the interior. To open the detergent compartment, simply pull back on the blue catch. To close the compartment, push down until you hear a click. You will also need to add rinse aid to prevent water drops forming on your dishes. To add rinse aid, remove the compartment lid by turning it anti-clockwise. Fill the rinse aid compartment until the rinse aid indicator light becomes dark. You can adjust the cutlery dish racks in the upper basket to allow more room for larger items. Simply press the dish racks towards the side of the basket until you hear a click. Once you have done all of this, you are ready to load your machine. Pull the handle towards you until the door is fully opened. Once the washer is loaded, close the door. You then need to select your program by turning the dial. Once you're happy with the program you have selected, press the start button. To reselect a program during a cycle, press the start button once. Wait until the cycle stops. You can then select a different program by rotating the dial. Press start to begin the new program. The cycle will continue from the point it was stopped but on the new selected program. You can monitor the status of your washing program by using the indicator lights. There are two stages to the process, wash, dry and end. There are also lights to indicate if you need to replenish salt or rinse aid. We hope this video has been helpful. If you do have any queries, contact Product Care on 0845 208 8750 or visit our website at www.productcareuk.com.